Welcome back, sports fans, to the only show that has more touchdowns called back for offensive holding than the Cal football team. I'm Vinny Butera. And I'm Danny Fry. And we're going back and forth. With a dominating victory over the Oregon State Beavers this past weekend, the Bears' record improves to 6-4 and four on the season. Danny, what impressed you the most about the 23-6 victory over the Beavers? Vinny, I'll tell you, what impressed me the most was Jeff Tedford and offensive coordinator Jim Mahalchik's willingness to stick with their game plan. That was to run the ball down the Beavers' throats, and the Bears did that 46 times for a season-high 296 yards. That meant only 19 pass attempts for junior quarterback Zach Maynard. That's a recipe for success. But Vinny, how does this bode for the Bears going forward? Well, Danny, I joked after the game, hey, if the Bears can run the ball 50 times against Stanford, maybe they'll win this weekend. But let's be real, like that. after the UCLA game, I thought that the Bears crashed worse than Maverick and Top Gun. Things were not looking good on the season, but they really stuck to their guns, like you said, and really pulled out two victories that needed to happen. So maybe if they could split one against Arizona State and Stanford, could go 7-5, and five, that'd be a pretty successful season. And I like that prediction. You're looking for a repeat of 2009 where the Bears used Shane Vereen 42 times on the ground. I think that's the only way they take down the very tough Stanford Cardinal. After falling to the LA schools a few weeks ago, the Cal Wins volleyball team have ripped off four straight victories and looked poised to finish off the season on a positive note. But Vinny, is it troubling that the Bears have lost to only quality opponents this season? If it was something, Danny, where they were losing to some amateur junior varsity squads, I would be a little bit concerned. Presbyterian, for example. Yes. If they lost to a Presbyterian-like volleyball team, that'd be an issue. But listen, these are two top ten schools. Losing to them is not a big deal. Yeah, and I like the experience they gained last year going deep into the NCAA tournament. I think Tara Murray and the rest of that team can use that going forward this season. The Cal men's basketball team stormed out of the gates this weekend with two demolishing victories over lesser opponents. Danny? What did you take away from this weekend? Vinny, I saw some pros and some cons. I thought Cal did a really good job of shooting at a high percentage from the free throw line, which you have to do to go deep into an NCAA tournament. And they were also very efficient from beyond the arc. Thanks a lot to Alan Crabb. But something the Bears really struggle with is rebounding. I think that's going to be a big issue as the Bears move forward. I definitely agree with you, Danny. David Kravis really stepped in and performed quite admirably in his first couple of games. Uh, very impressive. It would be nice to see him bulk up. Uh, a little bit, but for what it's worth, he did quite well. It's as if Cal puts in a skinnier and skinnier center as the game goes on with Bok Bok and Kravish and Richard Solomon. They need to get some size, and you can't depend on a guy like Robert Thurman to be the bulk in the middle. I think it would be interesting to see who would win an eating contest between the three of those guys, Kravish, Bok, uh, and Richard Solomon. You know, who would win? Probably Brandon Smith. Well, that's all the time we have, folks. Hope you enjoyed this edition of Back and Forth, the only show with a better chance of winning the Heisman Award than Andrew Luck. Be sure to tune in next week to get your download for What's Up in Cal TV Sports. I'm Vinny Butera. And I'm Danny Fry.